Are you tired of losing money trading cryptocurrencies? Sign up for my free trading AI with over 50% monthly return on your investment. Link is in the description. Bill Morgan, an attorney, criticizes Coinbase once more for refusing to enable the selling of XRP on the secondary market. Will June 13th be a busy day for all cryptocurrencies, by the way? Is the agreement between Ripple and the SEC likely to be reached soon? Is XRP headed for a price of $6.40 in the end? It persisted with me until the end to learn more, according to a renowned analyst who recognized the creation of the AW pattern on its weekly chart. Bill Morgan, a well-known Australian lawyer, criticizes Coinbase for refusing to facilitate XRP secondary market sales. The pro-XRP lawyer added to an earlier statement in which he criticized the American exchange for its contradictions. Morgan stated in a tweet on June 7 that continuing to prohibit XRP secondary trading by exchanges like Coinbase is not wise. He said that Coinbase's claims and its response to the SEC's Wells notice were incompatible with the exchange's treatment of XRP. He included a passage from Coinbase's response to the Wells notice, in which the exchange claimed that secondary market transactions do not constitute investment contracts regardless of whether an issuer was actively promoting at the time of each transaction on its platform. According to lawyer Morgan, it would be acceptable if Coinbase forbade Ripple or its agents from offering XRP for sale on the site. However, he said that Coinbase stopped supporting all XRP secondary market sales, even those that have no connection to Ripple at all. Despite these differences, Morgan pledged to continue exposing the exchange's contradictions and proclaimed support for Coinbase in its legal struggle with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. It's important to note that less than a month after the SEC accused Ripple of breaking federal securities laws, Coinbase stopped supporting XRP trading. A number of XRP enthusiasts, like Morgan, believe the exchange was unfair to the coin and its supporters. Lawyer John Deaton thought the Coinbase decision was related to the exchange's intention to go public at the time. It is noteworthy that Coinbase did not revoke support for the algorithm despite the SEC also classifying it as a security, which raises concerns. Attorney Morgan's most recent statement was issued in response to a tweet from Jesse Hines, the creator of the equity crowdfunding website C-Starter. Hines advised participants in the thread to put aside their differences and support those who had been affected by the SEC's recent enforcement actions. To put things in perspective, XRP supporters think the crypto industry abandoned them after the SEC sued Ripple in December 2020 for breaking federal securities laws through its offer and sale of XRP. Hines emphasized that Coinbase and Binance had more power during the early stages of Ripple's legal conflict. He did note, though, that supporters of Ripple and XRP were viewed negatively in other crypto forums. Other members of the cryptocurrency industry have begun criticizing the regulators' harsh enforcement efforts after the SEC sued Coinbase and Binance and declared numerous crypto assets, including ADA and BNB, to be securities. It's interesting to note that XRP supporters have not made things simple for the most recent defendants in the SEC's legal battle as they keep reminding them of their continued silence following Ripple's lawsuit. Meanwhile, Hines believes it's time for the XRP community to rise above the critiques and act like adults by embracing other cryptocurrency fans who are speaking out against the SEC's unfavorable treatment of all these businesses and organizations over the past few days. Hines emphasized that it is time to be the hospitable outsider who has gone through it all and can relate to all the fresh feelings and experiences that everyone else is going through. Please remember to hit the notification bell and subscribe to our channel so you can be the first to learn about new developments involving XRP. Journalist Eleanor Terror from Fox Business revealed that June 13, 2023, could be a busy day for the cryptocurrency sector in a tweet on June 7. The pro-crypto journalist claims that Henman's docs could be made public on the day that the House Financial Services Committee holds a hearing on proposed crypto legislation. This was stated by Tarrett in response to her earlier tweet. With fear. The following congressional crypto hearing is slated to begin at 1800 UTC on Tuesday, June 13, 2023, according to Chairman Patrick McHenry. 
The future of digital assets and how it will clarify the ecosystem for digital assets will be the focus of the upcoming hearing, according to Terror. The hearing will be held at the Rayburn House Office Building, it should be noted. For background, the congressional hearing is a part of the U.S. government's initiatives to create precise regulations for the developing market. McHenry outlined a number of reasons why politicians must follow the proper procedure in a recent video. First and foremost, policymakers must support consumer protection and foster innovation. Additionally, McHenry argued that cooperation between government organizations like the CFTC and SECC is essential for safeguarding the U.S. Customers The goal of the next congressional crypto hearing is to provide legislative clarity for the ecosystem of digital assets, which includes the cryptocurrency market. Interestingly, Fans of cryptocurrency anticipate that the hearing will cover SEC Chairman Gary Ginsler's most recent crackdown on the industry. Hyman's Docs, meanwhile, has recently garnered a lot of interest. In compliance with the sealing order issued by Judge Annalisa Torres in the SEC v. Ripple action, the document is anticipated to be made available to the public on June 13. The Hyman's Docs document internal SEC discussions and the lead-up to William Hinman's 2018 pronouncement that Bitkin and Ethereum were not securities. The SEC worked hard to keep the documents from going to Ripple, including challenging the court's rulings more than five times. However, on June 13, the day of the next congressional crypto hearing, Hyman's email would eventually be made available to the public. I want to tell you a bit about Dexpo before I proceed. A market maker is a self-contained liquidity provider. The decentralization of cryptocurrency trading is aided by someone donating their crypto assets to a platform. In exchange, you get incentives in the form of fees on trades made on that platform, which many people view as a sort of passive income. And if you use Dexpo, you can obtain it. The ability to offer liquidity to decentralized platforms like Uniswap, Sushi, Swap, etc. is something that needs to be made clear by means of the spool. If you sign up for Dexpool using the link in the video description, you can take advantage of a special welcome bonus. With this offer, you might receive up to 100 XRP. A 10-day liquidity bonus is offered. The offer has a cap. This bonus will be given to you whenever you deposit money. Additionally, the XRP community is still responding to recent statements made by Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse. Garland House asserted that the Commission's enforcement measures against cryptocurrency are the exact antithesis of SEC Chair Gary Ginsler's purportedly pro-innovation posture. Garland House's remark was in response to previous comments made by SEC Chairperson Ginsler regarding cryptocurrencies as well as the Commission's actions against prominent cryptocurrency exchanges Binance and Coinbase. Garling House asserts that the SEC sued Binance and Coinbase in order to draw attention away from the fact that these companies were taken off guard when the FTX ecosystem collapsed in November 2022. An unelected bureaucrat flailing like this to hide the fact that he and his agency lack the power he so desperately wants is embarrassing to see. No one is deceived, he said. XRP supporters who are eagerly anticipating the resolution of the ongoing SEC legal battle against Ripple have responded to the CEO of Ripple's statement. In response to the statement, a member of the XRP community claimed that Garlinghouse's blunt language in the tweet might portend a failure for the firm in its legal struggle with the SEC. The tweeter claims that the statements imply that the case may be proceeding to trial, or that the business may be thinking about appealing the summary judgment ruling to a higher court. The person requested the advice of partner at Hogan and Hogan and attorney Jeremy Hogan. Attorney Hogan clarified that any notion of a settlement in the SEC v. Ripple lawsuit was premature in response to recent rumors. Less than a day after noted crypto journalist Zach Rector revealed that Ripple is close to reaching a settlement with the SEC, Hogan made his comments. Notably, since last month, there have been discussions about a potential resolution to the SEC v. Ripple lawsuit. Due to Judge Annalisa Torres's sealing order, many people assume that the parties will reach an agreement on a settlement. Remember how Judge Torres turned down the SEC's request to have William Heinemann's 2018 speech on cryptocurrencies drafts sealed? 
Heinlein's emails are anticipated to be made public on June 13 as a result of the judge's decision, which was reached in spite of the SEC's attempts to keep the papers hidden. Several supporters predict that the SEC will finally give in to pressure and reach a deal with Ripple to keep the records confidential. The author of the financial blog Wall Street Bulls claimed last month that the SEC and Ripple had already reached a settlement. On June 14, 2021, the user pledged to disclose all the settlement information. Ripple is willing to reach a settlement with the SEC, it is important to note. The top blockchain startup has, however, reaffirmed that it will only reach a settlement with the SEC if the agency clarifies XRP's regulatory status. The main question of the day is, is XRP headed for a price of $6.40? Please remember to hit the notification bell and subscribe to our channel so you can be the first to learn about new developments involving XRP. Despite the current decline brought on by the SEC's lawsuits against Binance and Coinbase, XRP stubbornly defended the support above 50 cents. A talented analyst named E. Greg has noted the creation of a W pattern on the weekly chart of XRP amidst this resiliency, predicting a run to a range between $5.50 and $6.40. E. Greg made it clear that XRP might be moving towards a region he refers to as the Twilight Zone. He claims that this price zone includes items priced between $5.50 and $6.40. According to Ygreg, recent price changes for XRP indicate that the asset is currently falling into the zone. The appearance of AW pattern. The non-logarithmic scale was used by Ygreg to determine a pricing target range, with the scale's projected range being between $0.75 and $0.85. Cents. The expert thinks that as XRP forms the W shape, it may reach this threshold. However, Egress sets the target to a range between $1 and $1.20 by measuring the W formation using the logarithmic scale. He asserted that XRP may reach these price target paths to the twilight zone if it formed the W pattern while adhering to the logarithmic scale. Ygreg also drew attention to a symmetrical triangle pattern that was created by the meeting point of the Atlas line and the final wake-up line. A phase of consolidation before a potential breakout is indicated by the triangle. The symmetrical triangle is full, as Ygreg noted, and a breakout would set XRP to $5.50. The analyst establishes a 6,118 Fibonacci target as the ultimate price objective. The $6.40 price level is the location of the FIB 1618 target. He predicted that XRP's price might rise to $6.40 if Fibonacci retracement patterns are followed. Ygreg also previously predicted a probable $10 price point for XRP using this ratio. Depending on where it goes from here, the expert predicted that XRP may reach $10 or $27 over the course of the next two years. However, Ygreg has detected the potential for a market decline, which he refers to as the ultimate shakeout, in the most recent Twilight Zone research. He cautioned investors to exercise caution since certain unanticipated circumstances could push prices back to this month's lows, or even lower. It's important to note that while John Deaton, an attorney for XRP, predicts a more ambitious price as revealed, Ygreg sees a $6.40 eventual price target pro. In a recent interview, Deaton emphasized that he expects XRP to increase between $2 and $10 when the SEC action is resolved in Ripple's favor. Deaton added that when XRP reaches $2, XRP FOMO would begin. So, gentlemen, this concludes the video. Please be sure to like the video if you found it enjoyable. Don't forget to click the notification bell and subscribe. I find that the YouTube algorithm is greatly aided by this. Sharing this video with as many people as you can will also help enlighten others in the same way that you have been enlightened. Let's spread the word about this, guys. Don't miss any of our stuff if you are a serious Bitcoin enthusiast. We'll chat about the most recent news that affects our community as a whole when we meet you tomorrow.